Okay, hello everyone. I am Junalyn A. Subravilia and I'm here to teach you on how to connect our laptop to our LCD projector. But before that, okay, let us first observe our safety precaution in connecting our peripherals and devices. So next, we're going to prepare and identify the materials and equipments needed and its function. So we have the first main equipment, which is the laptop. Okay, the laptop is used wherein the file is located for presentation. And we have the second main equipment, which is the LCD projector, in order to project the presentation on the white screen. Then, okay, and the white screen is used to see the projected presentation. Okay, and the next materials to be used is the VGA cable. The VGA cable is used to connect two main equipments with the use of the ports. Okay, the VGA cable is used to transmit data from the laptop to the projector. Secondly, okay, we have the power cord. Okay, the power cord is used to supply the power source of the laptop and the projector to function. Then we have the, the mouse. The mouse is used to select, to point, and to click or open or close the file to be presented. Okay, and the last materials would be the extension wire. So the extension wire is used if ever our setup is far away from our power source or power outlets. Okay, so we have now all the complete materials and equipments to be used in connecting our laptops to our LCD projector. So today, we're ready to set up, we're ready to connect our laptop and our LCD projector. So first, we're going to connect our VGA cable. So the other end of our VGA cable will be connected to the VGA ports of the LCD projector. And the other end of this VGA cable would be uh, connected to the VGA port of the laptop. Okay, so we're going to mount the ports properly and correctly. So in mounting, okay, we need to secure the wires or uh, tighten the screws for security. Then next, we're going to connect the VGA cable to the VGA port of the laptop. Then again, we're going to tighten the screws for security. So we're done with the VGA cable. So now let's proceed to the power cord. Okay, let us connect the power cord to the projector then to the convenience outlet. Then the other end to the convenience outlet. So after connecting all the wires, okay, we're going to turn on our convenience outlet. So after turning on our convenience outlet, we're going to turn on first our LCD projector. With our control panel, let us press the power button once. So after turning on our LCD, okay, we need first to remove our lens cap to see our display on the screen. So right after turning on the projector, okay, we need to turn on also our laptop. So we're going to open the laptop and press the power button. So we're going to wait for a minute to print our file on the screen.
now, we're going to uh, to adjust the focal ring in order to make our uh, display more clearer if it is blurred. Then afterwards, if we're going to make our display place at the center, we need to adjust our elevator foot. Then, so we're done with our presentation. Okay, we are now ready to turn off our equipment. So first, we're going to turn off the LCD projector by pressing the power button. Then, while waiting for the cooling fan to cool down, okay, let us first shut down our laptop by pressing the power button. Reminders, in, plugging, in unplugging our uh, LCD projector, we need to uh, pull down first our fans in order to prolong the life of our projector. So once our cooling fan is stabilized, okay, we can now eject or unplug our uh, power cord to the extension wire. Or convenient words, we could also remove the VGA cable from the VGA ports of the laptop. Then, we're going to tie our cable. Then, we're going to unplug the power cord from the LCD projector. Then, we're going to fix our wires. Then, we're going to tie this one. Then, we're going to close now our laptop. And, we're going to cover again our projector lens with a projector cap or lens cap so we're done dismantling the wires so now if we're going to use these materials or equipments again tomorrow just stay it in place in the same setup area then if we're going to use it at home we are going to place this one in a comfortable case okay thank you that's all for today i hope you enjoy and you learn from it